a hearty welcome to you madam to the studios of shri satya sai media center sai ram sai ram you have known swami for more than 40 years and have had the opportunity to serve in the shri satya sai higher secondary school in prashant nilayam almost for two decades now tell us how bhagwan gave you this opportunity to be with the students and share his love with the students it's a quite interesting story of course actually swami gave me an opportunity to so in the in his book trust office in order to go through his manuscripts through that way i came to know of sai literature then somehow i had a strong feeling that i must work in his one of his institutions and see the way in which swami how he has designed from birth i have been falling sick often all the doctors would say that i won't survive for a long time but till now swami has extended my life several times in a miraculous way it will be quite interesting uh, to listen to it also as you have asked me about my experience how i came to higher secondary school i have to start with my heart problem <laughs> while i was working in the book trust office checking the manuscripts all of a sudden i developed a heart attack at that time dr gugi gui was a local doctor for consultation for me she used to tell me always sundaravalli really you have got degenerative diseases like me and for without any purpose swami would not have brought you here and as you have developed some hypertension it is better fluctuation of tension um a uh, bp it is better you go and consult the doctors in the cardiology department in super hospital she forced me to go there so i had to go there when i went there the doctors uh, they gave me a long list 13 medicines uh, strong medicines i am not i am a liver patient i am not supposed to take so many medicines what to do but naturally i i knew fully well my liver would get uh, damaged and then i would go into bed i came home having no other way no other choice see the way in which bhagwan compassionately he arranges things my one of my uh, friends her name was vijay lakshmi she was from uh, bombay at that time um when i felt sick actually she had a feeling that it is very difficult to get accommodation in puttaparthi in those days so she wanted to come and stay with me for two or three days just and then go back with that intention she came i did not know that she was coming and then she did not also inform me she came at that time as i have started taking medicines i was totally bedridden and my husband was also a chronic patient so he we had some adjustment between us whenever you are in bed i will lock the door and then i will go for my seva because we cannot afford to waste um going for duty is the most important thing priority we have to give he also said yes he locked me from inside and then he left then by seeing the lock she knew me for a long time so he she knew we won't take unnecessarily leaves or attending marriages or for anything if at all we move out it may be because of the reason that we have to consult some doctor somewhere how was it that the door is locked she started asking people nearby then i could hear her voice then i asked her no i am inside only i'll give you the key through the window and you come and then open it and then come it was a quite surprise for her she, when she came my condition was very bad and she felt very bad and she wanted to uh, ring up to her husband his uh, her husband was a, a scientist in baba atomic uh, institute there in mumbai at that time she said i don't know what you are going to do she is in a desperate condition i have to stay here and she is a um, girl of a uh, woman of uh, a lean structure and she i did not know even till date how she managed to stay here with me for 55 days i was totally bedridden my condition was really in puttaparthi only this happened i could not speak i could not take classes i can never imagine to sing bhajans i could not take a step even if i had to take a step i'll be gasping like anything sarbitrate one tablet i have to keep it below my tongue otherwise i can't take one step 
that was my condition and i will be profusely sweating in that condition i was and she used to take me to the hospital one day this real miracle happened all the doctors they called me they they told me they made me undergo so many um tests at last they gave me counseling by telling me ma there is no treatment for you here and then i was quite puzzled why doctor all the people throughout the world they come here for um, cardiac problem and you say that there is no treatment yes it is true if your valve has been damaged then we can replace it in your case it is not true it is not there and then if you are if there are blocks in the arteries we will do bypass surgery in your case it is not so then what is wrong with me doctor the walls of the uh, heart it has got damaged and 60% of your heart is not functioning we cannot do anything stress thallium test one more test we would like to make you to undergo and then we will ask you to come on a particular date when one um, expert from a foreign country he is coming and in order to consult only that whether there is some treatment for you so that you can survive i said okay and then the day came then she was also waiting my friend all the time that friend of mine she'll be seated nearby um a bed and she'll be reading sai sat charitra she won't talk anything she will ask me would you like to do anything will you uh, can i be of any help to you then i'll tell her in not even narayan seva i am able to do simply i am lying down that's all no i'll prepare for 40 packets she will make and then she will go here and then up to prashanti that uh, platform beggars she would give and then she would come back like that she was uh, doing helping me giving me lot of confidence that day she came along with me to on uh, to the hospital um, the my name was read out it was really very dramatic sundarvali suresh sundarvali suresh so i had to go more than 250 or 300 patients were there my name was read out first in order to take the report of stress thallium test i went there all the doctors of super specialty hospital they came running in order to see me i could not understand what was going on there doctor stood in front of me and then he said amma bhagwan has saved you here after you are no more a heart patient i could not understand anything i was dazed my brain refused to think of anything and then i was again and again asking patiently he was answering the same um, answering my question uh, you need not come back for cardiac problem you need not come back for cardiac problem and then i came out while i was coming out i wanted to share this with dr gui actually the previous day i had a conversation in the dream at home swami you have been extending my life several times this time if it is so that you have to put an end to my uh, life put an end to it if at all you are going to extend my life you please swami you see to it that i am able to move around and then help my husband also whenever he has got his attack serious attack like that i said then swami came in my dream it is only a dream and he came and then he asked me um he gave me three flowers yellow flowers with one stalk and he gave it to me and he asked me to take one pa- a pada namaskar then i took pada namaskar after that only he gave me that uh, three big roses um with one stalk and then he said with his four finger i have increased number also he said but i forgot uh, this number to this number there itself i was asking swami swami all the doctors are worried about my hypertension and you are increasing swami swami with a smile and chanting smile he said um, again and again he repeated it three times three times and then he blessed me with some akshatas and then i left it was only a dream the previous day the next day i have to take the uh, report of stress thallium test the next day i was taken there and then and then the people they were telling me amma bhagwan has saved you here after you need not come back um for cardiac problem anymore uh, then i could not understand it clearly at that time while i was on my way i wanted to share about all these things with dr gui who was actually a friendly with me also while i was on the way she said i will go home and then can you go to her the doctor yes i said i went and then i spoke with her she actually jumped from her 
see it by saying that sundaravalli here after you won't die you never told me doctor that i would die and then she was laughing swami has taken over and then you will be all right she said then when i went home actually another surprise was waiting for me she said that i had a call from um, higher secondary school boy school she said boy school what is it i can never never imagine in my life that i could continue with my teaching though i have been working in colleges for several years before coming over here am i in this condition i could never think of giving lectures or speaking uh, or teaching i said what is this what do they want me to do i asked that to boy school what is this i can't understand understand you find it out i told her and then within few minutes another phone call was there ask her to come immediately then she asked who she was who he was then he said i am the um, principal oh ho then i when i didn't even know where that school was actually the location then uh, all alone without any escort i could walk across the road in the scorching sun and then i went to the school this happened without anything i could cross the door in the scorching sun and then i went to the um school entrance he was standing at the portico and then he has not seen me i have not seen him congratulations madam he said what is it i may be the mother of some of the students i do not know but he said congratulations and then i went there and then what should i do sir swami has posted you here posted me i asked what should i do teach he said teach i did not want to I uh, share all my experience one more thing i would like to tell you here however sick i may be uh, swami with swami's grace some extraordinary thing that i people used to tell about me is i won't appear to be sick at all so they cannot understand directly from bed i will come but people won't know that i was that much sick then i went there and then why should i tell all these things because swami is doing everything then sir will you please give me four days time Swami has asked you to take up the post, and then you have to do it today itself. Today itself, I was not mentally prepared. I I went there with a small handkerchief. Then I uh, I told them, "Where are the classes, sir?" As I was a lung patient, also big cavities there, so I was not permitted even from teenage uh, to climb up the stairs. He showed me the second staircase, and then he said, "There, your classes are there." Abba. everything is impossible whether to tell them or not i was in a fix then simply i looked at the photograph where life size photograph was there now also we have got it there and uh, swami is writing and then it appeared as though he was looking at me and with a, a smile then i told him is it it is only because of your drama no so why should i make a big fuss and then telling everybody how i came and all i am not going to tell anybody now i am going to Uh, climb up the stairs and if anything happens if i am going to roll down i do not know it is your responsibility i said and then i started <laughs> directly really i tell you the truth i got uh, to the second um, second staircase second floor i went there and then one teacher was uh, coming behind me in order to introduce me to the boys before that uh, i was working in uh, andhra loyola college and i was a uh, 3000 boys I was a student counselor. <laughs> All these things they did not know. I have not shared it with anybody. Nobody knew about my past. And then he thought that um, when I went there, I I had a feeling that oh, you I should not present myself in the first class with profuse sweating. So I wanted to wipe off my face. I went behind the door, behind the wall. Then he thought that I got frightened of these boys. Then he came out and then said, "Madam, what happened to you? No, no, sir, nothing wrong." not even a sweat not even a drop i found it on my face then why should i make a fuss i sat there directly i started my classes three times i had to climb down three times i had to go up even my doctors could not understand what is going on there sundarulli he used to ask i don't know sir because i don't know doctor this is the truth that i am telling you and in all colleges maximum number of hours that i have taken so far was 14 hours per week here 18 hours they gave i accepted three times going up and then three times coming down nobody suspected that i had that problem any problem nobody so i continued with that the way in which swami does it whenever he uh, cures you or absolves you of your 
um, past karma, whatever it may be, I do not understand. Swami would make you work, give some seva. In that way, I entered that college, um, school. And after serving there, I started learning so many things, like life lessons, lessons for my life through my students. Little ones, in the beginning, I had a feeling that I, what will I teach? English literature, I have to teach for them. It is about life. And then it is said that at the age of five itself, they will come and then they, will, they won't even go home. They won't expose themselves to the family life at all. Then how will I explain to them all the characters and all? You, it is very difficult and they are little kids. They are like that. They don't know anything about life. That was my opinion. Swami wanted to give a blow to my ego. It may be. Then uh, in two or three days time itself, this happened. When I went to the school, all the uh, 12 standard students, that is senior intermediate students, they were standing near the Ganesha statue in front of our school. And they were going round. That itself was odd for me. In front of others, how is it that because outside colleges and all, you can never expect such things to happen. Then I was wondering how these children are doing like this. Then they came back running to me. They used to call me auntie. That was also very odd for me. Because um, people used to call me, um, address me as madam or miss. What is this auntie these boys are calling? Then everything was different. And then they said, this Ganesha would go and tell uh, Swami what all we talk. Then I really, I could not contain my laughter. I had a feeling, see the way in which Swami is treating these boys. Grown-up boys behaving like this. Um, all those things, that was there. Swami would clear whatever may be the doubt that you have got in your mind. Through my students, I learnt a lot. And then, um, uh, I won't turn that side at all throughout the year. It went on. The next day, then I wanted to tell them, I was a professional counsellor before coming here. And uh, keeping minimum of 1,000 audience will be there for me. And then I'll be um, giving them authentic um, formula in order to keep themselves fresh. For the students, I will take one session and then for the teachers, I will take another session. Then I was told by the doctors that because zinc capsules will definitely help them to improve their memory and then they'll be alert throughout in the classroom. And not only that, they during examination time and as it is only a vitamin with zinc, it will stimulate, zinc will, zinc will stimulate their nerves, that's all. There is nothing wrong if you are going to take it throughout the year. So they may be doctors' sons also. So I will tell them, authentically, I, I can't declare it in front of anybody. Um, it has been proved by the education psychologist also. You can take it daily. Um, you take it so that you will feel brisk and then your memory also will improve. Uh, I told them like that. And in the class, I tried to give them some tips. I went to the principal and then I made a complaint to him. Sir, uh, how was it that the children are sleeping in the class, I especially after... Um, uh, lunch. Madam, do you know that Swami's menu is such that he gives sambar. Sir, I am coming from a state where throughout the year we will be taking sambar and then it is full of dal, sir. That is full of protein, sir. How can you? Sir? So, we are not supposed to argue, Swami says. So, simply I came out. Then I asked him, I gave him another suggestion. Sir, why don't you arrange for some sprouts for the boys so that they will feel um, brisk in the class. Why don't you go and then tell the warden whether I can go to the boys' hostel also, I did not know. And who was the warden also, I did not know. Oh, you, you, what to do? Then it is better, I will tell them about becosing capsule. I thought I made a um, decision. I When I told them, will your parents be coming? Yes, ma'am. Then um, it is it is not costly. You ask them, keep it in a bottle and then you do it like that, I said. You, can, you, you get 100 um, capsules with you. It will help you in a, um, in the long run. And then they were simply looking at me. And then I told them, shall I get it for you? No, they said. How to rectify this problem? Every suggestion uh, goes waste. With this feeling, I went home. I looked at Swami's picture in my class and then said, you have to solve this problem. You don't want me to scold and then you don't want me to argue with anybody. And how will I enforce? They have to study, no. How will I do my duty? It is your duty to see to it that you have to solve this problem. 
I went home. The next day morning, when I came to the school, this warden, I did not know that he was warden, Janathan, sir. He was standing in the portico. Why did he share it with me also till date? I do not know. He called me, Madam, everybody knew because I was the only lady appointed by Swami in the Jan school. Then he called, he called me, Madam, do you know what happened? Every time whenever prasadam is given in the Kulvanth Hall, whatever it may be, it may be a big watermelon also, Swami would send to all our boys. Uh-huh. Why he is sharing also, I did not know. Today, do you know what he did? And what is it, sir? I asked. 10,000 because in capsules he sent it as prasadam. Then I got stunned. They said that whatever we talk, Swam, this Ganesha, it was funny for me at that time, this Ganesha will go on tell Swami will come to know of it, then I would not have think of thought of all these things. But this Ganesha will go on then tell Swami, they said. Then I got frightened. Swami, sorry Swami, whatever I talk, I will never I will behave in such a way that I will never bring displeasure to me. It is the biggest lesson in my life. Wherever we are, Swami would listen to our thoughts even. The moment when the thought comes in our mind, He would come to know of it. We need not even write a letter. The moment when we and He would be ready to um, uh, satisfy our wish. When I read about one of the doctors, um, Dr. Rangarajan's incidents, episode, I used to think, how could it be, Swami? Even small wish of a devotee, you do it. And then within one or two, briefly, I will tell you, it is quite interesting. He is from Chennai and he is a great surgeon and he was a devotee. He used to come there and I have seen uh, him in the um, Kulanth Hall uh, sitting among the portico. Then Swami, the stage, uh, Swami one day called him, Rangaraja, will you do one thing if I give you work? <laughs> definitely, Swami. He went on his uh, uh, knees and then he said, definitely, Swami. Swami assigned him some assignment. I did not know what uh, he assigned. It is quite interesting episode. And he would go, uh, after two months, he came back again. After that, he was jumping, jumping, jumping like a rubber ball, small child. Um, ex- Sharing his experience with all the with everybody, uh, whom who whoever it may be whom he came across, I was very much delighted with this. He came back and then he said, "Rangaraja, how was your trip?" As Swami has asked him to go, he has uh, given him some assignment to go here and there in foreign countries, and then he used to meticulously note down the time who came to receive him, who came to accommodate him, what all the items that he was given as food, everything like a child, he has noted it down in a diary. And then he came, um, ah, yes. yes, Swami, I will come. Then he was asked for the interview. Like a small child, Swami was sitting on the chair and then he was seated at his feet. And then he was talking, 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 talking for 20 minutes. After that, small, <laughs> with a smiling face, Swami asked him, you never mentioned about idli sambar. Ah, Swami. Actually, while he was returning, he was uh, waiting in the um, airport. He has to return from UK, London airport. At that time, he had a feeling everything was fine, but how much I missed my idli and sambar, which I used to take every day. Like that, he had a wish. He did not even open his mouth in order to share it with anybody. Then he thought, he looked at his watch and then he thought, for boarding the flight, it is time. Then let me go and then come back, find out. At that time, a big board, he could see Ganesh Bhavan. It may be South Indian uh, a restaurant. He thought like that and then he rushed towards it and two persons were standing there. Come in, come in, come in, come in, sir. Hot, hot idli, hot, hot sambar. Then he had it to his heart's content and then he came back. Nobody knew anything about it. Then Swami calmly asked him, now you go and see whether Kanesh Bhavan is there in London airport. He can create anything. He can create anything in order to, within nine nine hours or ten hours, he would come back to Chennai and then he can have. That moment itself, the moment when you have, if you are going to follow the instructions, if you are implicit obedience for me wants, that I have seen several times, whatever may be your wish, it may be silly also, immediately 
he can construct a hotel he can do anything what not he cannot do and similarly he has done so many times in my life also and swami um throughout my career he used to do it like that now i would like to tell you i went to um vijayawada and i resigned my post in from one college siddhartha women's college and then these people on health grounds only um, these people were compelling me by force they took me i had a feeling that i don't know uh, local language because of that i may get cheated it is a residential college that fear i had they said three interpreters three translators we will give you madam whatever i said they will they would say no um, you do it that is enough that is enough so i thought that it is swami's wish and then i went and i accepted and that time this happened nobody knew that i was that much sick nobody can swear also they used to tell me after i came back from the hospital we can swear madam that you can never be sick to that extent all the attenders they used to say like that okay then i got the appointment there morning 7 to evening 7 was my um, time duty time i was the principal at that time what happened one day um, the correspondence table was there in the same room and then he made a mention about myself no 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 during uh, admission time madam won't be available because of my health conditions i was advised by my doctors to avoid the scorching sun during summer in vijayawada and to be blazing so my father also would say you come back to bangalore and then stay where he was staying at that time i would go three months <laughs> i would go away during that time only my admission must be taken no it appeared as though i was shirking my duty as a principal i it is also my ego then i told him swami must have designed everything i told him sir this year during summer during admission i am going to stay here what is there then then they said it is well, well and good that you are going to do it we are happy they are extremely happy then i stayed there uh, my feeling was i was t- sitting in a um, air conditioned room and after 7 o'clock and it may take even 8 for me to go back home um, this heat waves whatever it may be how will it how will it affect me whenever i consulted my doctors they used to say that is there any injection that i can take in no you avoid it you will get a stroke madam no you are such a patient don't do it they said i ignored all those uh, uh, sayings and then i simply uh, took up that uh, work i got fever i was running high temperature pain actually i would be rolling on the floor literally but nobody would know to what extent i was suffering the next day i would go to college this was going on i saw the temperature also i consulted with my doctor childhood doctor i won't consult any other doctor and my college doctor ranganayam karu kodali ranganayam karu and kishore garu both of them are doctors see the way in which swami arranges i was rolling like that i didn't know the emergency kit that i brought it nothing worked at all terrible pain i was undergoing oh you you is it wrong on my part that i am staying here now how can i go it was um, a conflict in my mind i only told them that i will stay here i could not take up any decision and then at that time in the night 9 o'clock there was a knock at the door and one girl uma her name was she was from chinmaya mission why did she come at that time also i did not know she uh, knocked at the door and then I, with lot of difficulty i had to get up in order to um, open the door then she said ayyo um, madam you are uh, having high temperature i am not going very uncle she asked then i told her he has gone on deputation to isaac you are alone i am not going to leave you here at all i am going to take you to the doctor and it is college doctor then i cannot i will really they will they won't know they can't even diagnose that is the truth i knew it but the doctors would not know about all those things my doctor has already cautioned me you can also live like others if you are going to take caution as though a mother would take caution regarding the health of a 6 months baby then you can also live like others you need not tell them about your past history 
medical history at all. You don't want people to know of it, no. Like that, my doctor, um, childhood doctor, he has given me confidence. And then this girl forced me like anything and then took me to that doctor. That doctor used to um, give me a lot of respect. Namaskar, madam, like that she used to say. And then how she used to admire. At this age itself, she is very dynamic. All those things were there. On that day, she started scolding me as though I was a stupid person. How can you behave like this? You refuse to come to the hospital. Are you afraid of the uh, injections? What is it, madam? Why did you do it? No, doctor. No medicine will cure me. I mean, will uh, respond. I won't respond to any medicine. Huh? What is wrong with you? We are doctors. You are not a doctor, no? So I had to submit to herself and then I was hospitalized. And then I told them, you should not inform my students or the staff, the college people. You should never inform. She said, why you are behaving in an extraordinary manner, madam? I cannot understand. Let it be, she said. She started giving all footsteps in the intravenous only. Nothing was given orally to me. Like that, 32 days, I was in early 30s at that time. 32 days I was hospitalized. One of my friends who was my colleague, in um, uh, Siddhartha College, she came to my rescue. At that time, he got himself transferred to Guntur and then nobody was there during daytime. I used to ask her, Na, Nageshwari, why can't we have got 12 days leave, casual leave? Can't you take half a day leave because she used to get severe headache? No, Wally, you do not know about it. My mother is a heart patient at any time she may need. I have to take a leave. I won't go. She stayed with me for 32 days. How she did it also, I do not know. Such a noble-hearted people, Swami has gifted me as um, my own friends. You cannot find among ordinary people such friends. When I came back also, when I told her at any time you may get transferred and then I won't get an opportunity to um, give back what I have taken from you. I don't want to be indebted to you. When I told her, she said, Bali, never, never think of even or open your mouth and then say, do you mean to say that I must also suffer the same manner so that you will get an opportunity to help me? No, 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 no. I said, then don't forget about it. How can human being, it is because of him, because of him. Ordinarily, nobody will behave like that. Nobody. She was sitting throughout 32 days near my bed and in the night he will come and then he will be sitting. 32 days. At the 32nd day, the, um, the doctor, this Ranganayakama, she called my husband and then, Sir, Suresh, sir, uh, madam is sinking. You can inform people. Within a few minutes, she will collapse. Then he said, at least now, can I consult my doctor? As you wish, she said. And then banging the door, she went inside, it seems. He took the case sheet and then he ran. All the um, nurses and others, they thought with so many wires here and there, I started vomiting, 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 and they could not understand. Not even a drop of water is given to her. How is it that she's going on throwing out? I told her, no, my liver get damaged and then you can never do anything. But they did not listen to me. Her ego did not permit her to consult my doctor also. So it is my fate. Swami must have designed everything. And then everybody left my room, including my husband. He went during those days, the mobile uh, um, phones were not there. He had to go to the um, uh, booth, telephone booth, in order to read it out to my doctor. He also left. Nobody was there, literally. At that time, it is not a dream. Swami entered my room. I was admitted in the special ward. Swami entered my room. I saw, Swami, four miracles happened um, at a time. Swami, Swami, Baba, like that, I was telling. And he said, he put me, he asked me to open my mouth and he put one cardamom and then literally one cardamom and then one clove. The very moment when he put it, the, my vomiting stopped. And some sort of pleasant feeling I had. But I did not have enough energy to open my eyelids. So simply I was doing like this and then lying down. Then Swami blessed me and then he was, go he went, he disappeared. He went behind with an enchanting face, smile. He blessed, by blessing me, he left the room. I was in bliss actually. This is the first miracle. I could not share it with anybody. 
second greatest miracle is my sister came she was in holland at that time she got married to an international scientist and then he, she was staying there she had a baby two or three months baby and it had it developed some sort of rashes and there was not proper treatment there so she wanted to come over to um tamil nadu she had a house here in tiruchi and her mother in law lot of miracles for 36 years daily 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 i have never heard of people she'll be talking talking with the uh, um, uh, swami and then she will get things done like anything very old lady i have seen with i have witnessed so many things i don't have time to tell you all those things the she only said she was in chennai chennai is 307 hours travel away from tiruchi where she was staying and there was she she did not know that i was sick she did not know that i was hospitalized my sister also did not know because i didn't want to inform anybody they will say that in spite of the fact that we have been telling that there is no treatment for both of you how is it that you can leave your job and then go what will you do not even financial support you will get it what on earth you are decided like that so blindly we came here so we didn't want to let others know otherwise they will find fault with bhagwan also so i didn't want to tell anyone that i was sick here also after coming here then her mom, mother in law was sitting and then doing something um ashtotra or something i do not know and that time one letter got it fell down and there also one uh, kadamam and then one um uh, clo was there swami has written with love baba he has signed immediately you send your granddaughter to vijayawada to her um sister she did not know what has happened she came over to tiruchi and then that old lady immediately you rush 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 to vijayawada they will have in their subconscious mind that at any time i may die my sisters and brothers then go immediately swami has given prasadam ah then my i will take care of your baby you go crush 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 swami has asked you to go and then she started screaming by saying that my sister is dead see we won't tell a lie no swami won't like it no moreover have you got any sense to the dead body will he give kadamam and then clo go rush we have to follow his instruction that's all then weeping she came without even he has started giving telegram you can inform your people she said the doctor so he has started giving telegrams to people before the telegram reached her she came there she was standing in the hospital she did not know vijayawada um, local language also she does not know she does not know where i got uh, admitted nothing she does not know that i was in the hospital somehow she managed to come and then she came there and then i was surprised then at that time all tubes were removed and then i started sitting on bed because we used to share with the miracles that happens with her and all over phone her mother in law will not permit her to tell anyone about the miracles that happen in their house but she will tell me over phone uh, like that i used to enjoy it uh, for years together then she said what happened what happened how is it that you have come no baba has sent you swami has sent you this um, uh, baba vibhuti no 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 kaadam mandan klo i felt we were laughing like anything at that time another <laughs> miracle one of my old friends he was in his name is ramasami ravi and he was in malaysia he did not know that we got transferred to vijayawada and he did not know that i was uh, um, sick he did not know where i got myself admitted nothing swami came in his dream and then said you are madam is in the hospital i'll give you the address get up get up get up and then write it down vijayawada hospital address swami has asked him to note down in his diary and then he started sweating like anything because what is it going that is going on my madam vijayawada where it is also i do not know hospital address and all he is giving i will give you prasadam swami said then he could not sleep at all throughout night in the morning he saw 11 prasadams coming out from small picture of swami which i gave to this boy uh, when he was in trouble after that no contact at all then he took everything in his house at that time he was in chennai and his own people said it is meant for your ma'am so we are not supposed to touch it 
Take it in small, small boxes and then you go. They are also cardamom and then clove. I cannot understand. We cannot interpret that, um, the ways of Bhagwan. He brought 11 different prasadams and then he came and then stood there. Um, then we started laughing like anything. Myself, my, my sister and then this boy also. Obviously, you have come to know that I am here. Baba sent me. Baba sent me from Puttaparthi. You are coming. Prasadam he has sent. No, I did not go to Puttaparthi. What do you say? Then we were enjoying the miracles of Bhagwan. We were sitting like that. Then my sister came. Anticlimax started. She was working in SIT college in the physics department in Chennai. And she found when she got the uh, telegram, she is hospitalized, like that only he has given. Then they knew that everything will be over when she is hospitalized. Again, she won't come back. So she gave instruction to her kids, children, by saying that Amma will come in two days. Don't trouble your father. And then you need not even <laughs> open your um, plates. You do like this. I have kept chocolates in the fridge. You take any number of chocolates, take it and then go to school like that, she said. Tomorrow itself I'll be back, she said. She was 10% sure that... Uh, um, she would, I was no more. She came there and then she started shouting at me. You are sitting and laughing like that. See, with so much of difficulty, I had to take leave from my hospital. See, I will talk to her doctor. Why are you scolding me as soon as you come? I said, she went directly to the doctor and the doctor admitted, Madam, I tell you the truth. For the past one week, all experts of different departments. We have been consulting. We have been discussing, discussing. We have not a diagnosed what is wrong with your uh, sister. That is the truth. I can tell everyone, I can admit it is because of the human efforts. It is because of some almighty God. What is that power and all? I do not know. How she survives also, we do not know. How she sits and talks also, we do not know. And then in this condition, no, 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 we don't have holidays, we don't have leave, we have to go, we have to join our duty, we are from different, different states. Doctor, please discharge her. And then she's always like that. She will again, um, uh, she will come back to life. I have seen it several times in my life. Like that, she said, and then they got me, they dropped me in my house, and then all of them left me. I was all alone. And then this Ranganayak Makaru, she came, we were staying in the fourth floor, Ramya Apartments. And then there was no lift also. She was walking with the difficulty and the fat lady. She came there and then she knocked at the door. Then I, I, she told me, I came to know that she refused to take even a single pie for her that treatment of 32 days. Then I told her, I belong to conservative family, madam. You must give some, you must respect our feelings also. And we are not supposed to um, get inducted to anybody during this birth. We strongly believe in it, uh, madam. Please, I heard that you have not taken any money. No, it is not because of us we are, you are um, alive. Uh, whatever it may be, for the maintenance of the hospital and the room rent is there and then the medicines that you have given, you have to take, you have to take. No, literally she refused. I was very much worried at any time I may get transferred and then how will I pay back what I owe to her? Oh, you, you, Swami, you must give me an opportunity. Then I went and consulted the principal Atluri Savitri Garu in um, Siddhartha Women's College. Then I asked, Ayya, yeah, in these days, in order to give money, will anybody weep? You, oh, you are an extraordinary person. No, you must find me a way. I have to give her money. She does not want to accept. I will tell you, I am her relative. They conduct uh, Satyana Navrata once a year. And then during that time, without invitation, anybody can go. You go. There will be heaps of um, flower petals will be there. Below that, whatever may be the amount that you want to give, you keep it and then go away. She said, thank you, madam. Thank you, madam, I said. And then I did it also. I don't know what happened to that money, whether the servant has taken. I don't know. The Swami knows it. I kept it and then I came back. Then my heavy feeling in my heart was Swami has given me life. Like that several times, not once or twice, extending my life like anything. I don't know what is the lifespan that he has allotted to me. But the, both will be there. All my Only my friends will know the other side of my coin. On the other side, I'll be always on the stage giving speeches, 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 speeches. Swami will not leave me from morning till night. This is also true and this is also true. Going to the hospital, doing everything. It is like that. My life is full of contradictions. 
or mystery or miracle, whatever you call it. It is not it is something extraordinary. Like others, I have not led my life from the beginning till now also. In the recent past only, I came to know through one of my students. And I was mentioning about this incident of Swami. Swami can do anything. You have been handpicked by them, by Swami. So it is not an ordinary thing because they are, they do not know. They might not have had darshan. So they don't know. So I thought, I used to think that at least five minutes Apart from my lessons, I have to tell them about Swami's glory. And they are also very much interested in knowing it. Then I was telling about uh, Rama Brahmamsa, the first to second son, he passed away. Swami one day called him, it seems. Uh, Rama Brahmam, uh, your second son uh, in Vijayawada, he is dead. So, due to Tufan, they could not get even telegram at that time. Actually, this has happened. And then, without telling it, you go, take your wife. Is it possible on a human being to, without screaming? For a father, how many hours? Is this devotion? Such a devotion, how can people have? Human nature. We will say, no, 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 no. He simply kept mum because Swami gave him instructions not to let her know. He took her, she was happy. Ah, you are taking me to our son. After going, seeing the dead body, she, I will never forgive you. Knowingly you have brought me. Knowingly, because mother's feeling now. Continuously she was weeping. Crying, crying, crying. You, she may die, people thought. And then some devotees dared to approach Bhagwan by saying that. So, I mean, night and day she, she is weeping. After setting fire, 15 days or after everything was over, the final rites, they came back to Kadgodi, that is uh, Whitefield. At that time this happened, Swami called them for interview. That boy was brought alive in front of them. You all might have, might be knowing. And then after that, see, he said, Ma, I am in bliss. You also come with me. Don't call me. Call me back. After talking with him, she became all right. That part of it, you leave it. Swami can do anything. That is one beyond logic. With our brain, we can never understand, we can never try to interpret also what all Swami does. He has asked me to do, let me do. He has asked me to do, let me do. That's all. That is the condition, but Swami is making me till now. He has made me take classes for the students. He has made me so many sevas that he has given. And then with a lot of joy, I have been able to do it. I don't know how grateful, in what way I can be grateful to Bhagwan that who has been doing so many things. We want to be useful to the society till our last breath. That is the only thing that is the uh, our last wish.